Hello, this is Baron from Machine Mowers or MachineMowers.com. First of all, let me say I'm grateful you have taken the right steps on getting a robot installed in your property. And I'm glad you are making life easier by using our robots to handle some of your lawn care maintenance. I, for one, welcome our robot overlords. This video is an introductory video on how to use your robot. The robot I've installed in your property is called the Works Landroid Robot. But before we get started, we went through your property and buried boundary wire or guide wire to assist our little robot friend on telling him where to go and how to return back to his docking station. The wire is approximately three inches underground and should mostly not be visible. The boundary wire that is visible is more likely to get cut or broken, like when you rake leaves, and then we're going to have to come out there and splice those wires back together for you. So if you get any landscaping work done, that will overlap the areas where the boundary wire is, you should let us know so we can either mark the boundary wire or adjust the boundary wire as needed. Now that you have a robot installed on your property, it rests or recharges in something called a docking station. During the winter months, we will take the robot and the docking station with us to safely store it away, as well as do some maintenance on our little robot buddy. It is important that our little robot friend makes it back home after he is done mowing. If he gets stuck on something in the yard and fails to return home, simply take a picture and text it to me or email it to me so I, we can make adjustments as needed. Our little robot can only go up about two inch lips, so debris like twigs, hills, or dog toys, it can get, its, it can get stuck on those. And it might not be able to return back home some dips in your yard that we miss and maybe you don't even know about might have to be filled in with some dirt. While I love our little robots that are not very smart but they are persistent. We tell them what to do and how they can do it and they can do it a thousand times like cutting your grass. So our goal over the first few weeks is have to have them leave the docking station and return safely back home to rest and recharge its lithium ion battery. Now I want to show you some basics on how to operate your robot. This is the Works Ro Landroid Robot, which we've installed on your property. It's resting in a docking station at this time, and it's doing great. And if I go closer, I can look through the window here, and it says it's waiting for the scheduled time, which is perfect. That's what I want to see it. But before we go and open up the panel, we just want to talk about its light up here where it's charging. You'll see this light right here at the very top is green. Green is good. It means that it's completely charged and it's ready to leave the docking station to go cut your grass. Now, if this light is red, that just means it's charging. It means it's probably done just cutting your grass has returned and it's now red so it's recharging. If this is blinking you have to call us up because that means there's a break in the boundary wire somewhere and we're gonna have to find and detect that break and fix it for you. That's okay that's what we're here for. So the next step is we're going to see just look at the machine from in the back here there's a giant stop button. I guess you can imagine what that does if I press the stop button at any time, the machine will stop. If I pick up the machine, there's a handle in the back here, right behind the stop button. If I pick that up, the machine will stop, automatically stop and say it's trapped or stuck, but I can move it back to the docking station if it's stuck somewhere in the yard. So right now it says it's waiting for a scheduled time. Fantastic. That's what I want. I've opened the console up, and let me just tell you a couple things here. This is how we adjust the cutting blade. Right now it's at three inches, as you can see. But I can t turn this clockwise or counterclockwise to determine the height of where I want my grass to be cut at. We recommend at Machine Mowers that you cut your grass at three inches to have the roots of the grass get healthier and longer so they can help choke out the weeds. But if you really want to, you can lower it down by turning this to two and a half if you want. See there, I set it at two and a half. I'm going to adjust it back to three inches. There we go. So it still says it's waiting for scheduled time. So I'm assuming the machine is fully charged. I can hit the back button here, 
right here and it will actually tell me more information like the current time and everything on this and it says the next time it's going to cut the grass is at 1500 hours which is three o'clock and your machine most of the machines I send out at 12 o'clock and they go out for about a few hours to try to cut your grass okay great so the first thing we do if the console's not lit up I want to power it on and power power it on so I see something to power it on and power off my little machine I just hold this power button down there it says it's goodbye I'm powering it down so if I go out on vacation it's okay if you leave it on when you go out on vacation but if you don't want to that's okay so I power it back up and I'm just gonna enter my pin I'm just gonna go away here so you can't see my pin there we go I've entered my pin and now we're doing it now it says it's charging and waiting for start time the battery is at 88% which is fine that's healthy enough for our machine to say hey I'm fully rested and I want to go out and cut your grass if I want to start the machine at any time I can just hit the start button close the panel which I'll do right now and show you so I hit start it says um, close the window to start and I could just close this panel here and it'll start cutting the grass okay so if you find your machine in the yard and it says hey I'm stuck right well you might want to try to carry it back so you might say press zero to reset so I press zero it just takes me back to the menu no big deal and I want it to just find its way home I hit the home button and I close the window and it's gonna follow that boundary wire that we've laid throughout your yard to help guide it back to the docking station where it can easily find its way home for a nice little rest and charge up well maybe we'll see if it charge does it we're a little stuck here aren't we little buddy come on help us out yes make it back to the station the main purpose of the first couple weeks of the machine is we want to be able to successfully leave its docking station return back to the docking station and charge successfully so it can leave it and char go cut your grass the next day or during its next scheduled time. If it ends up getting stuck in your yard, simply just take a picture and email it to me at contact at machinemotors.com or text it to me if you have my number, which is 402-209-2482. And we're going to try to make tweaks to the boundary wire and tweaks to the system during the typically the first couple weeks. If you notice your grass is getting uneven, also let us know. Um, we can try to send it out or make adjustments to make sure your grass gets even, especially if you have a larger yard for this particular machine. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at contact.machinemotors.com and welcome to lawn care maintenance in the 21st century. Thanks a lot.